we get people asking us all the time, how do I get my lawn to look good? How do I make those stripes like you see in baseball fields? Stick around, I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. Hey Picture Perfect people, it's Katie. I hope that everybody is enjoying this incredible weather. It's starting to warm up as we're rolling into spring this year and the grass is starting to grow. It might surprise you, but you actually don't need special equipment or anything crazy like that. All right, today we're gonna show you how to stripe a lawn so that your lawn can look like what the professionals are doing, but you can be doing it yourself at home. Or hey, if you're just starting out in the industry, this is a great way for you to learn how to do it like a 10 years in pro. We've set up several different cameras. We've got a drone in the air, a GoPro on the field. So you're going to see from multiple angles what this process looks like. Now, I know you might be thinking, hey, Katie, I haven't seen you around in a while. What's going on? Well, at the end of the year, there was an opportunity that came up in another industry that I could not turn down. But don't worry, I'm still in the family. Picture Perfect is my heart and soul, so I'm still going to be around. But everything that I learned and was explaining to you guys came from Brandon and his family. These are the true professionals, the industry leaders that are the brains behind the operation. So Brandon's going to be getting a lot more involved in these videos so that we can still bring you guys that awesome information, but you're going to be hearing it from the horse's mouth instead of having to come through my filter. So I'm going to turn it over to Brandon now so that he can explain to you why you don't need a striping kit or any crazy equipment like that to be able to get amazing stripes in your lawn. And hey, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that when I do pop in in the future, you'll be able to see it. I hope everybody's doing great and I'll see you later. Let's go head over to Brandon. I'm Brandon, one of the owners of Picture Perfect. Believe it or not, putting the stripes in the yard while you're mowing it comes a lot more from technique than any kind of aftermarket part that you can put on your mower. Today we're going to take out this 48 inch Hustler Trim Star to show you how you can do it without any kind of a striping kit, just the way the mower comes from the factory. That's all there really is to it. Um, you, of course, could purchase a striping kit for your mower. You could add some extra equipment. But if you're looking to obtain those professional ball field type lines or stripes in your lawn, that's how we do it. Jimmy, can you explain to them how that works or why it's just that simple with just them and their mower? 
as she said, basically there is no special way, no special tools needed. Um, it's just laying the grass down, certain ways that the grass lays down, the way the light hits it, as you guys might, may be able to see it in the camera, I don't know. Um, but it gives you a, a darker effect this way and a lighter effect this way. So basically you want to follow the light stripes as you're mowing. Right. So that's what we try, try to tell our employees all the time, follow the light. That gives you that, that, that tells you which direction you need to be in. So um, we try to keep our, our blades up to three and a half to four inches tall, high. That way it gives you a little bit more of a, more of a bend, which gives you a deeper effect. So um, the reason you see them better on the baseball fields, they're up higher. Uh, so you can actually, you know, look down on the ground here and it doesn't look as defined. And you can see at the end of the video, it was later on in the day. I went back up with the drone later in the day and the light was hitting a little bit different. So as you can see us with the drone and the different pictures, uh, you can see different effects that it gives you just by sunlight. So basically all it is, is real easy. Bending and sunlight. So there is no special, you know, we, we've seen it many times where people have their blade up to four inches and then they come back and they put it down to three and a half inches which gives you that stair step thing and that's not you how you that. that's not how you stripe a lawn so um and don't get discouraged if you're let's say you're mowing the grass in the middle of the day and you're following all these procedures and you're following the light and you're coming back and you can see a little bit of difference but it's just not that big pop that you're looking for wait till later yeah wait till later in the day or maybe earlier in the day different times of the day when the sun's hitting at a different angle it makes that reflection of that light really pop um, sometimes that's why we find see... here in our yard that it's more defined in the afternoon or the evening when the sun is hitting it at that angle it's but about 6 30 at night yeah so your yard it, it may hit that angle in the middle of the day it just depends on where you are in relationship to the angle of the sun so don't get discouraged go out and give it a try um, and if you think it's not really that extreme wait till later in the day and take a look um, and keep in mind the more you do it the better it's going to look. Kind of train the grass to bend down. Yeah, because on those ball down. fields, they put a roller on it, which is a weight, so it's forcing it to lay down. Um, when you're doing it at home, you're repeating it. You're doing it every week or twice a week, or however often you have to do it. We like to mow the same. We like to mow the, mow the same way two times. One week, next week, mow the same way, and then we alternate directions for two weeks. Then we go back to those same ways for two weeks, then back those way for two weeks. That just trains that lawn to get to stripe it down, to get it down look a little bit better, darker, brighter, and all that. So uh, that's basically it. If you have any uh, questions, concerns, comment below. Let us know what, if do you stripe your lawn. Uh, tell us what you use. Are you using a striping kit or are you just doing it by yourself? We encourage you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And so once you think you've perfected your lawn striping techniques, post some pictures so we can see your lawn.